the word of god is alive and powerful sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow and it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart all scripture is god breathed and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god might be mature thoroughly furnished unto all good works study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth dear brethren in the grace of our lord one more day being renewed in our life so that we could walk a walk that is worthy in the sight of jehovah the true purpose wherewith our lord has chosen and kept in eternity past to the praise of his glory in his grace so that god the father being planned lord god the son of our lord and savior jesus christ worked out on it and lord god the holy spirit being revealing to us this great plan really we being born in the position of christ of new birth spiritual birth not like the same progeny of the image of adam which genesis 5:3 records for us but once again into e i con into the renovation of the image in our thinking where with lord has chosen for us confirming to the image of christ to the praise of his glory we are here to work out the great things the great things we need to work out not in the energy of the flesh which we cannot no flesh and blood can teach to us it is purely by the ministry of lord god the one who is going to teach us and that is not again into other pseudo spirituality like the miracles healings or tongues or in fact even indeed like the other religions that they work out but rather it is by the pure word of the lord which has been given for us in eternity past the only problem in this today's christian dam is satan will manage to do anything and everything but when you start to take the word of the lord satan trembles it not only just trembles but rather it tries to rise 101 riling accusations against you by giving you the lust patterns of your old sin nature to be fulfilled very easily or at the same time approbation lust power lust or at the same time bleeding you to cause yourself into self indulgence of self righteousness and self legalism this is of a very great pain dear brethren that you and i have to understand but the men who are there in today's christendom today who do not even have the worthy of their calling in christ to the praise of his glory in the new birth of christ where with he has chosen us as new spiritual species alekene ketesis in christ so that we are no longer tossed to and fro by every slight wind of doctrine but rather we are taken into the renovation of our mind to look what is acceptable what is good and what is the perfect will of lord god the father there can never be any perfect will of lord god the father to see that the one who have been born in this alekene ketesis period to be grown up to be coming to the realization of extreme truth and that is what the perfect will of lord god the father is the perfect will that each and every believer should come to the complete knowledge of christ and complete realization as such why he has been placed over here in this polity of privilege philippians 3:20 our citizenship is in heaven saith our lord saith our lord through apostle paul and we need to understand why apostle paul has written those things many of the people who do not even have a thorough understanding of the dispensations or who do not even note that the bible should be in, should be interpreted in the time it has been written looking upon into the context and develop subjects categories upon sub categories so that we should inculcate the reality of the truth have been really lost it plato quotes the measure of a man is been measured by the power with which he does the work but we the christian church age believers have been given an enormous power that power which was lacking in the old testament time we have been given the great power of indwelling ministry of the trinity not just lord god the holy spirit but we have been given the three members indwelling in us permanently the reason is we should lead or to be called in abba father to the maximum glorification as our lord and savior jesus christ was bearing witness for the truth through john the baptist one another witness how are we today are we like those nine leapers who just went away not even having the fear of the lord to come back and to give glory to god or are we like that one samaritan for the grace of our salvation being graciously bestowed upon the saving grace and not only that as long as you stay here alive on this earth lord provides to you the living and the logistical grace but rather battling around for the things of this logistical grace are we
moving along or moving ahead for the super grace or ultra super grace believer status because dear brethren this life is not worth fighting for the things which are going to perish this life is not worth for looking upon those things which are temporary which are going to just vanish off but our life which we have been placed over here on this earth is a reason to call for us to deposit ourselves the spiritual wealth in the heavenlies where the robbers cannot rob it nor the moth can eat it but we have only one thing in the heaven the maximum glorification for christ the stephanos the crown the life that we live over here on this earth the life of this unique spiritual life the life of this usabaya the life of this three adult stages of the spiritual one by using of the two power options filling of the holy spirit by using rebound the three spiritual skills to execute this protocol plan of god and furthermore it has been much more needed for us to go out and to look upon the doctrinal status quo as we grow and reach the personal sense of destiny in the plot line of the soul which is the sixth gate and furthermore dear brethren we have been given to the praise of his glory this great care and grace even at the dying grace as well so why we need to worry about our survival on this earth we need to worry about only one thing as long as we are kept alive on this earth have we honored today our lord's word above his name or not because lord himself has honored his word above his name if it is today one day at a time again we come tomorrow again the renovation of grace upon us if our lord is delaying rapture we are most fortunate at one because we are yet to learn many things from the bible if lord seems fit that i have to take rapture back home then we are no way happy to look upon or to praise upon the lord in the physical body that he has given for us this physical body pertaining to the things of the image of adam have to come back again believing in the same second person the last adam which is nothing but our lord and savior jesus christ our new position in christ and taken the new position in christ what we need to do we need to work a work of true renovation to the true image where with lord has created for the first time the born again believer the first image what it is thoroughly inculcation to know the complete knowledge says efficiency one to well and following through lord and savior jesus christ the complete mystery doctrine the complete mystery doctrine which was been hid in the past only the group which initiated it they might have come known to look at, to understand this mysterion but now the initiated members are lord god the father lord god the son and lord god the holy spirit and our lord said while he was before to leave this earth he said you are no longer slaves but you are my friends the friend knows everything the friends are we we the church has believers with this great polity of privileges and we have been given to know that mystery doctrine which has not been revealed in the past but now it has been made clearly manifested for us and we need to align ourselves to the life of the praise of the glory of lord as we walk in that mystery doctrine by the daily intake of the word of the lord the the the, the main problem with us is we are not able to understand what is this mystery doctrine neither we have come close enough to look what it is to give the great number one privilege in christ for us to grow up in this sophisticated spiritual life of this ephesians philippians and colossians epistles written by apostle paul the mystery which has been very clearly revealed for us the principles of examples so that we should not work like unbelievers the principle of example of a church that the church should be a university a pastor teacher being a dean there the manifold wisdom of god has to be taught in ephesians 3 9 and 10 that's what the passage declares and now the angels are constantly are looking around to look and to understand what that that this man is going to communicate in fact even first peter tells for us in 1 to 12 the angels are robber knocking to come and look and see what exactly the pulpit is going to teach but what are we doing today in our pulpits we are not at all worried to look we are not at all worried to consider we are just ruling upon those things which is no longer worthy to be considered it's really very pathetic for us to note why these men are perishing so easily because of the lack of knowledge why these men have no reality for the rest of blessings in time as well as for eternity which lord god the father has granted for us because they don't desire to know it and foolishly arrogantly battling around debating around for the things which the bible says no long back and it's a very great pain for us to note the way that these people that trampling the word of the lord under their feet trampling the word of the lord over their mind to think the human viewpoint and experience and rationalism and empiricism rather than faith 
by faith the word of the Lord, what has been written for us in the original language of the scriptures, taken out and learned through dispensationally, will arm us twice. And we walk by faith meant to say, we walk twice armed. Because our mind is set upon Christ, our Lord, our Savior, upon His thinking. And we have absolutely everything crystallized clear for the purpose why you have been kept alive after salvation. And many of the congregations today and the denominations headed by their leaders, they say they are not at all being saved still. At the end of the journey, like the Roman Catholicism, they want to quote. You will be saved at the end of the journey. That's what their viewpoint is. You will be made to learn to look at the end of the journey. Until that time you are not saved, until that time you are not thinking, until that time you are not capable of understanding. And at the end of the day they are going to give you the sainthood certificate as they give for the Roman Catholic popes and bishops. The popery is a great curse that we have in Christendom today. Which have not explained the reality of the word. And when Martin Luther wanted to stay in the system and correct those things, they threw him out. But we are thankful to the Lord that we are being born in this free period of Protestantism. The true freedom wherewith we can enjoy according to the constitutions of our country, the religion. Not forcing any man to bind upon one religion. If it is in the US or in my country, India. And above all, Galatians 5 and says, in the liberty wherewith Lord has set you free, stand firm. And though day to day we have liberty from protecting our life to be ended drastically if it has been given in the hands of Satan, our Lord sets us freedom and keeps us to alive to look and to get the maximum glorification for Christ. We are not at all considering to look the real worthy of our survival of this earth. It's a very great pain thing, dear brethren, whether you believe it, take it or not. Therefore, this is your life, your time. Which way you want to go, you decide. We shall continue in the next tape. Father, I grateful for the privilege that I was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, let us do these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.